13 former SEC players made the ballot for the College Football Hall of Fame's Class of 2022, which was released on Wednesday by the National Football Foundation. This year's candidates for the College Football Hall of Fame from the SEC are Alabama running back Sean Alexander, Georgia cornerback Champ Bailey, Tennessee safety Eric Berry, Arkansas guard Brandon Burlsworth, Kentucky quarterback Tim Couch, Alabama center Sylvester Croom, Florida defensive tackle Brad Culpepper, LSU running back Kevin Falk, Tennessee wide receiver Willie Gault, Georgia running back Garrison Hurst, LSU linebacker Brady James, Florida running back Eric Rett, Tennessee wide receiver Larry Sievers. They are among the 214 former SEC players eligible to appear on the ballot and the 445 from the conference who have met the first eligibility standard for the College Football Hall of Fame but aren't enshrined. SEC has hundreds of players on doorstep of College Football Hall of Fame but even with hundreds of candidates available from the SEC, some of the biggest names from the conference's history will never appear on the College Football Hall of Fame ballot. To be considered for the College Football Hall of Fame, a player must have earned first-team All-American recognition from one of the organizations used by the NCAA to select the annual consensus All-American team. Here are 20 former SEC All-Stars who, despite their football success, didn't check off that requirement during their college careers. The former Vigor High School standout made All-SEC in two of his three seasons with the Tigers. After joining the Cincinnati Bengals as the 10th choice in the 1996 NFL Draft, Anderson spent the next 13 seasons as starting right offensive tackle, making the Pro Bowl four times and first team All-Pro three times. The closest that Anderson got to qualifying for the College Football Hall of Fame, though, was a second-team selection on the Associated Press 1995 All-American squad, bypassing Anderson for an offensive line of Colorado's Heath Irwin, Florida's Jason Odom, UCLA's Jonathan Ogden and Ohio State's Orlando Pace along with Nebraska center Aaron Graham. Auburn players eligible for the College Football Hall of Fame Blander was the starting quarterback in coach Paul Bear Bryant's first two seasons at Kentucky. In 1947, the Wildcats set a school record by winning eight games. The eighth was Kentucky's first postseason appearance, a 24-14 victory over Villanova in the Great Lakes Bowl. Up against Ole Miss Charlie Connolly, LSU's Y.A. Tittle and George's John Rauch during his Kentucky career, Blander didn't receive all SEC recognition, let alone the national accolade needed for College Football Hall of Fame membership, which Connolly and Rauch hold. Blander had virtually three careers on his way to the Pro Football Hall of Fame.